let's get to it. So just like a lot of boxing fans around the world and some of the fighters, they saw Jamel Charlo performance and a lot of people didn't like his lackluster performance. Canelo himself also felt that lackluster performance. Oh, look at this guy. He didn't feel like that Jamel Charlo did enough to even try to win the fight. I'll read you his exact quote. After him talking about his opponents, how they usually get discouraged after they realize how difficult it is to deal with him in the ring, he said, I think that happened with a lot of fighters. That's not on my mind, right? To survive. It's not that way. But I did my job. I did my job. I think he never did something to win. Now, he said this during the post-fight press conference. And that's just how he feel. He feel the same way a lot of other people felt when they saw this lackluster performance. And now, because of this lackluster performance, it makes Terrence Crawford not even want to fight him anymore. He's already made it known that he's going to be moving on from Jamel Trollo. Oh, whole ass nigga. So we may not even see that fight at 154. Then after that, you got people like Chris Eubank Jr. calling out Canelo Alvarez. Man, sit down somewhere. <laughs> sit down somewhere. Now, he was throwing shade at Jamel Trollo and calling out Canelo at the same time. This is what he had to say. Canelo needs to fight someone who's going to get in there and put it on his butt. Someone who actually wants to win, not just survive, secure a payday, and give him a sweet look hug after. This ish is getting embarrassing. I don't want a hug. I want that scalp. Then he put hashtag Canelo Eubank. Listen, I'm telling you like this. I know Chris Eubank, you know, he is a great fighter and all. But for one thing, he needs to fight Conor Ben. And for another thing, I don't think he can beat Canelo. I mean, listen, he got knocked out by a guy that Canelo knocked out. So if you get knocked out by somebody that Canelo knocked out already, I just don't think you can beat Canelo. To this day! Just like Jamel Trollo, how he just got whooped by Canelo. If you get whooped by Canelo, I just don't think, I just don't think he can beat Terrence Crawford. Absolutely not. I mean, because I already said myself that I feel that Terrence Crawford can beat Canelo. Get the f out of here, man. So if I feel that Terrence Crawford can beat Canelo, I don't think that Jamel Trollo should even try to consider fighting Terrence Crawford. He needs to go ahead and move on, go back to 154, and try to go get a fight with Tim Zoo or somebody. Come fucking with me, you gonna get knocked the fuck out. On another note, so we got Kermel Moulton. Now, that's another up-and-coming fighter of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather said that this guy reminds him of another version of Tank. What? It's all cat. It just, it just talks. And I don't blame him, because if you see this guy fight, this guy has knockout power and this guy has speed. He actually kind of look like Tank as well. Um, he can box. He got skills too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, his first fight he had, he just debuted. And they didn't air the fight. I wish they would have, but they didn't. They didn't televise it. Um, he did. It was a first round TKO. And um, he looked real good, man. They got some clips online. And uh, you guys probably seen a clip right now from this video. But be on the lookout for him, man. Be on the lookout for Camille Moulton. Uh, he, like I say, he's one of Mayweather's up and coming fighters, and he's definitely somebody who I think could dethrone Naoya anyway. And I know it's a little early to be talking about Naoya anyway and him, but listen, people are already mentioning Naoya anyway, anyway, when it comes to Camaro Moulton. So I'm just telling you how I feel about it. This is somebody that I feel that will be able to defeat Naoya anyway.